Hello, my friends. Today, I'm going to rip a whole case of 2023 Topps Chrome Black for my personal collection. If you're ready, then I'm ready. Let's go! Well, I've never ripped Topps Chrome Black like this for my PC. I've always wanted to get one of these cards in my personal collection. A nice auto, maybe even, you know, a colorful parallel of one of the big rookies. These cards have a thicker card stock beautiful designs. Uh, the parallels are gorgeous. They're encased. All the cards are encased in one touches. This year, they've got these Topps Chrome Ivory autographs that look spectacular. And the checklist is small, so most of the cards you get out of the packs are good. 100 card checklist. And the autographs, 101 autographs. So I went through the entire checklist here just to get an idea of like, how many cards am I actually going to get out of this case? How many autographs am I going to get out of this case that I like? How many am I going to get that I don't like? And then how many are going to be somewhere in between? And I, I went through and just kind of went like, yes, like, I don't like, don't like, don't like to figure out how many I wouldn't be super stoked to get. I'm going to put a guess out there right now that I get three autographs out of this whole case that I like. And then I'll probably get five that I don't like. And then the rest are going to be somewhere in between. Let's find out. First, I just wanted to show you a couple of the autographs just to try to get the blood boiling, get, get some good vibes, some good energy vibes here. These are some of my PC autographs that I have. Some of my better ones. Uh, we'll start out with a little, a little bit of prospecting. Christian Vicaro got a PSA 10, his Bowman first. And same with Sal Freelich. Anytime you buy in. At least he made it to the bigs, and he showed something so far. So Alex Al Freelich just recently picked up this Volpe rookie auto. Tops now, 2 of 49. I thought that was really cool. Looks, looks good on the blue. Corbin Carroll, nice, ungraded, but I'm going to send this to the upgrade shop. Inception, numbered to 99. We got a Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh, snap, from Pristine this year. That's a gold parallel, numbered 40 out of 50. I like the real one. I mean, everybody enjoys the real one autos. On cards, a blue ink. I actually pulled this out of a box, sent it away, gemmed up, pretty sweet. Oh, how did that get in there? Corbin Carroll back on track. Pulled that from my case break of 2023 Series 2. Nando, rookie auto, 2019, but it's the 1984 design. That one was a little bit thick. I bought that raw. Got a nine. One of the big boys of my collection, Julio Rodriguez. That is the batting helmet relic auto. Super low numbered. Number 10 of 10. I've opened so much 22 update. And this is the best hit I've got. Got a Nando Chrome rookie auto, PSA 10. Thought I got a great deal at the time. Ronald Acuna Jr. PSA 10. Bowman Chrome rookie auto. This was a gift from Roan. And I sent it away to the upgrade shop, and she gemmed up for me. Getting into the big boys. Got a 9-5 with a 10 autograph. Juan Soto first. This is one of the best cards in my collection. One of my pride and joys. I love the photo. I love his auto. I love everything about it. And the most recent banger is the triple Julio Acuna and Soto, numbered one of five, triple auto. So we're getting the good vibes flowing. Let's rip. One of the keys to this endeavor is going to be to get some good cards that are inside the pack that I can send away to PSA that gem up and I can hope to nickel and dime my way back a little bit. I'm going to list some of this stuff on my eBay store. Link is in the description below. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I know how these things go. One auto per box. Not a ton of nickel and diamond you can do, but I'm going to do my best. Hopefully pull one PC card out of here. That's the goal. Autograph number one. Boy. To base, Dontrell Willis. He was one of the guys going through the checklist that I was like, would I like a Dontrell? And he was kind of in the middle. Like, I don't mind it. Unnumbered. 
don't know how many. I, I imagine like maybe every other one is going to be numbered. Do we save these for the end? Nah. Every other one maybe numbered? We'll have to see. Half of them, a little less than half. Maybe five of them numbered. I don't know. Michael Harris rookie. That's a good start. These packs, each one of these packs has a, has a refractor of some kind, and they are numbered. That's to 199. That's a good pickup right there. Nolan Gorman. This is how you nickel and dime your way back from Topps Chrome Black. You got to get the inner pack because these cards are quite desirable. Send them away. And, you know, it's a thicker chrome card stock, easier to upgrade. Stand worthy for sure. Good rookies too. Michael Harris, Michael Bush. Those ones probably more like, uh, you know, sell them raw. Sometimes it would be worth it to send them away if they were, you know, as a speculation more like Michael Harris already there, but his, his hobby isn't super high at this point. I think it still is possible that you could send that away. And I may, I don't know. If I need to get a nice PSA order together. Might add that. All right. Auto number two. I feel like we're going to get a parallel here. No. Mark Appel. One of the guys. I'm going to be honest. I'm not trying to hurt any feelings. But one of the guys I didn't want to get. I already have a Mark Appel auto. And that's, that's it. Just didn't want another one. But uh, almost everything, every product this year seems like is loaded with Mark Appel autos. He was ready to sign. Another Nolan Gorman. That's a base. Looks like we got a red on the, yep, a red coming up next or a magenta possibly. I'm going to look real quick just to see what that is. It is going to be, oh, magenta. Is that magenta to 10? That would be nice. You could save a case with one card like that. Nolan Gorman, come on. Jonathan India to 10. Oh, Juan Soto. Yeah, you could, if that was a big rookie, that could make the case. That could be like a, everything else is a uh, free roll. Alas, India still has some value, but not peak value. He's going on the stage. Gorman and Soto. Now it's time for a parallel. Three boxes in. Thanks for joining me. You wouldn't mind hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. You know the dance. I appreciate it. Another base. And it's Zach Thompson. All right, so we're, we're 0 for 3. Packs. Maybe a bloodbath. I'm ready for a bloodbath. I don't want a bloodbath, but I'm ready for it. I prepared myself mentally for an absolute bloodbath here. Okay, back to back Biebers. Bieber to 199. And a base Beatty. Not going to get it done with that box at all. Now, a parallel auto. Big one. Time for a big one. You gave me three pitchers already. Is this where I start getting salty? Oh, man. It's already... The salt is already flowing. Save it. Save it. Right here. Another base. Kenny Lofton. I'll take that. I'll definitely take a Kenny Lofton. To 150. That's a San Francisco Kenny Lofton. Really? Okay. This is one that was like, you know, and it's a parallel too. Not a huge dollar card. But definitely a notable player that everybody knows. Everybody knows and loves Kenny Lofton. Green. Ooh. Green wave. Hunter Brown. Okay. Not going to get it done with Hunter Brown. 
I think we're going in the right direction, though. Got to get a big, big rookie auto to even taste fresh air above water. Maybe we switch this one up and we go with the pack first and then the auto. Another green wave. Jose Ramirez. Hmm. Naughty list. Cal Mitchell, naughty list. Plenty of Cal Mitchells this year have come out. In right into the the box that has no name, the collection, the PC collection box of a, that has autographs that will never see the light of day again. And the pack didn't work. This could be good. Ridiculous, yes, to put a redemption in a one touch. Outrageous? Maybe. But we'll have to see what the name is on here. It better be a monster to put a redemption inside a one-touch. It better be a monster. You see it. Due to receive. Super Futures Auto. It's going to be a good. Something good. Be Otani. I think he's on the Super Futures maybe. Or Gold Refractor Parallel. This might be the best one of the whole box, of the whole case, of Gunnar Henderson! Yeah! Okay, made the case. That made everything. And that's what it takes. You gotta get lucky with one huge, huge monster. Yeah, the, the, the Super Futures checklist is pretty spectacular. Oh, yes! I wore it! I wore the hat to make that happen! I have to admit, I was starting to lose faith. Alright, we're free rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Can do the rest of this with a smile on my face. Whoa! Make, oh, I hope the pack has it. We see, we still gotta hit some... Okay, I still want more. The free roll has to be good still. Christopher Morrell, I'll take that. Morrell to 199, definitely. And a Singa in there. I think that's the second Singa. Gunner? Gold Gunner? Can't wait to see that. I got to see that. I'm going to redeem it immediately after the show. If you didn't hit the like for me, hit it for Gunner. He deserves it. Free rolling, baby. Oh. Green parallel. LA Dodger. Miguel Vargas. That'll play as well. To 99. That's a nice looking card. I do enjoy the greens. Something about them. There's, it's, it's almost, it's a two-toned green. We've got like a lighter fluorescent and a darker metallic. Okay, two two good autos. It, things are kind of happening exactly like I thought they would. I didn't think that. I didn't think one super banger, but hoped for it. Thought there was going to be a lot of like like that. Not a lot. Like four, maybe. Like that and that. There's Morel again. Strange how that's happening, isn't it? Purple mini diamond. Purple mini diamond. Ruiz. To 150. Cool. The parallels are just glorious in Topps Chrome Black. They're they're beautiful. Gonna need some 
55 points for the parallels. One, two, three, four, five boxes left. I've gotten lucky. The last, uh, the last few. I've gotten lucky this year. I already showed off a few to keep that luck vibe going. But doing a case at a time. If you just buy one box of Topps Chrome Black. If you buy a case, obviously, much better odds of getting one good card. A lot of times there's like a case hit. It's probably the case hit. Another auto. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. Do this. Do what you're about to do. That was like the one I was hoping on not. Alec Thomas. I, he's fine. And those are sweet cards. Wow. It's a sweet design. Super futures. But Alec Thomas out of the whole checklist. Not, you know, not his rookie. But that, that again, that's in one of those middle ones. Like, I, I didn't not want it. But I didn't want it. So it's floating in the middle. We got a double parallel. Probably one of these per case. You're going to get two parallels in one in one pack. 50 of 99, Matt Olson. Gold mini diamond. This could this could be another game changer. Gavin Stone could be worse. Big nice nice prospect. He, he did get some PT last year too. So rookie I guess decent rookie could be good could be really good one day and I really like the gold mini diamond look we got four left take the gunner out of it how we doing but that was expected you gotta you gotta hit a nuke. Okay. Parallel auto. Base, Ranger, old school T, Beltre. Palmero. 150. Raphael Palmero. This is one that I was like, I wouldn't mind it. Palmero. In the pack. Ruiz. Let's see who's on the back. Grayson Rodriguez. These blues look really nice. Matt Mervis. Color match. Blue, blue. Dude, that card looks sweet. Blue lava on tops chrome black. Wow. Not the worst. Rookie, color, color match, big market team. Not the worst. Three left. At least the autographs on the cards are good too. Almost like someone said something to them like, these are going to be very expensive. Make sure you put your best signature on there. I mean, Palmero's got the old man sig. Classic good. Oh, yeah, that was the 150, the Palmero, too. For some reason, yeah. Refractor. Hey, another, yet another. Assad. Another one of these gorgeous blue lavas. If they were all like that, I'd be happy. Oh, it's not even blue lava. It's something else. 
straight up blue Valdez to 75. See, that looks different than that one. We got blue lava and then something else. I'm curious. I just want to see what, what this is all about. On the base cards, blue refractor and blue lava. Okay. Manuel Valdez. Julian. We are not getting a lot of real high end in her pack hits. No, sir. We got two chances left. The nickel and diamond aspect that you you hope for a little a little bit of that. Maybe more like like we're pennying instead of nickel and diamond. We're we're throwing Canadian pennies around. Philly, shall we guess? Already got Mark Appel, so that's out. I don't know. I'd love a Bryce. I'd keep that be a PC card. No. No. A lot of that. A lot of stuff like that. Come on now. Help me nickel and dime with a beautiful green. Joey Manessis. Not going to get it done. To 99. Greens look cool. And the last box. It is what we thought it was. Tops chrome black. It is what we thought it was. Chance to hit a crazy awesome card. And then a lot of chances to hit a lot of. Ooh. Houston. Corey Lee looks like Bregman. Last hit is a purple mini diamond. Hunter Brown. Let's look at all the hits and talk about it. This is almost exactly what I expected was going to happen. Slightly different. We'll talk about it on the, on the way here. But as far as the base cards go... Kind of disappointing. I was hoping on at least one nice base card. Uh, big rookie. Basically looking for Corbin Carroll, Gunnar Henderson. We got Edward Julian, Grayson Rodriguez, Ruiz, Tobar. Some secondary guys. Morrell, Senga. Uh, but no no huge ones. Beatty, you know, a little secondary rookies. Gorman, uh, Michael Harris, etc. So nothing to speak of on that front, which is the lowest end of what you're hoping to get. Next level is the parallel base cards. And we didn't do great on these either. Ruiz to 150. Stone to 50. Morel to 199. Gorman to 199. So those three are good. The India to 10. I think you're going to get one low numbered card per case anyway. So out of all the checklist, somewhere in the lower half of it. But okay, you know, Ramirez to 99. Eh, okay. Valdez, 75. Mervis to 75 is okay. Just really a lot of stuff that doesn't have much value. Out of all of it, you know, we got a, we got a few decent. Ones. Nothing great, though. I was hoping on, like, one nice. But even hoping on one... Nice parallel is tough because it's a hundred card checklist. You're only getting 13 if you get your double. So the odds that you're going to get a big rookie, not great. But if you do, it can have quite a bit of value and it can go a long way to getting your money back on a case. And then the autos, almost exactly what I thought was going to happen, happened. The ones that I didn't want, really, 
there were one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I thought there was going to be probably like, I thought two, four, I thought there was going to be five, and there were six. Five-ish, and there were six. And then there's a few of them that are kind of in the middle, like I don't mind. Alec Thomas to 99, Super Futures. These Super Futures cards look sweet. They, I really like those. The refractor on those, the abstract background there. It's like a filament and space or something inside of a computer. That looks really cool to 99. Got Dontrell Willis. He played for the Tigers. I got fond memories. He was a special pitcher at his time. So I, I don't mind that. Kenny Lofton, I don't mind that. Number to 150, I'll take it. Miguel Vargas, that's a decent hit. Number to 99. I like his, you know, he, it's not even a SIG. I like how he spells his last name. It looks clean at least. And then Rafael Par Palmero, I don't mind that either. To 150. And of course, the thing that made it saved us, Gunnar Henderson. Complete life raft saved the whole break. If we wouldn't have gotten that, hopefully it would have been something like on the decent side. But all in all, you know, I, I don't know that I can recommend going out and getting a case of this stuff unless you've got a unless you're a glutton for punishment. But it, it was it was kind of fun. I did enjoy it. Get, uh, padding the autos. I'm gonna have to sell a bunch of them to try to get back a little bit. But I think as far as if you want to buy a case of something. You're better off buying a Topps Chrome or even flagship, like retail flagship stuff, a case of hanger boxes, a case of blaster boxes, a case of fat packs, something like that. You're much more likely to get your money back or even, you know, maybe depending on the checklist, be up a little bit. As far as all the releases this year, you know, I, I'd put this, I don't know, somewhere in the middle. It's not great. It's not horrible. It's good for breaks. Sprinkling in a guaranteed auto into breaks is always nice. People like to get that guaranteed auto. You can spread the cost around to a lot of people. That way it doesn't hurt. And also, it's still a chance to get a nice numbered parallel. And the checklist is good for base rookies. So, all in all, I had a decent time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all later.